To really grasp how rendering works in Next.js, we need to look at how React's rendering has evolved over the past decade. Let's dive into React's different rendering strategies and see how they've changed over time. If you've been around web development for a while, you probably remember when React was primarily used for building single-page applications. When a client visited your website, the server would send back a single HTML page. This page was pretty bare bones, just a simple div tag and a link to a JavaScript file. Let me show you what I mean with an example from Create React App, which was the go-to tool for starting React projects. You get this minimal HTML file with an empty root div tag and a reference bundle.js JavaScript file. This bundle.js is the real powerhouse which contains everything, the React library, your application's code, everything needed to run your application. The browser would download this file as soon as the HTML was processed. Once your browser downloaded all the JavaScript, it would get to work generating the HTML right there on your computer, injecting it into the DOM under that root div element, and that is when you would finally see your user interface. Here's a very simple way to verify this. If you check the DOM inspector elements, we can see a header with image and h1 and a paragraph tag. But if you view the page source, you'll only see the original bare bones HTML the server sent over. This whole approach where your browser, which is the client, transforms React components into what you see on screen, that is what we call client-side rendering, CSR for short. CSR became super popular for single page applications and everyone was using it. However, it wasn't long before developers began noticing some inherent drawbacks to this approach. The first big issue was SEO. When search engines crawl your site, they're mainly looking at HTML content. But with CSR, your initial HTML is basically just an empty div tag, which is not great for search engines trying to figure out what your page is about. Plus, when you have a lot of nested components making API calls, the meaningful content might load too slowly for search engines to even catch it. The second issue was performance and user experience. Think about it. Your browser, which is the client, has to do everything. Fetch data, build the UI, make everything interactive, and that is a lot of work. Users often end up staring at a blank screen or a loading spinner while all this happens. And here's the kicker. Every time you add a new feature to your application, that JavaScript bundle gets bigger, making users wait even longer. This is especially frustrating for people with slower internet connections. While CSR was indeed game-changing and gave us the interactive web apps we love today, developers knew they needed better solutions for SEO and performance. Up next, we will look at another rendering approach that tackles these CSR limitations head-on. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.